My name is Eve Malawai Feasel. Uh, I have a PhD in linguistics and uh, um, also a, an honours degree in anthropology. And I find that these two subjects that I learnt at university uh, enhance my interest in language and, and my own people. And that's fallen into uh, an area that's helped me create language programs and understand people from other language groups. Well, I'm a Gubby Gubby person on my mother's side and my father is also Aboriginal and he's on the Yemen side. So they're two different languages from two different areas. So they cover different aspects of the country and, and the behaviour of people in the country. I became interested in languages uh, mainly by accident because I didn't make the Olympic team to go to Rome and they weren't sending discus throwers and I'd learnt German for four years in the hope that I'd make the Olympic team and they didn't send any discus throwers. So in those four years between 1956 and 1960 I decided to learn a language where I could get a job in Europe so I picked out four languages and the one I chose was German. So by 1960 came around uh, and there was no t discus throwers being sent to Rome, I had four years of German and uh, I said to my teacher what I would do and he said oh well just do uh, how many high school subjects have you got and I said I only went, I didn't make it through primary level. He said never mind we'll do HSC uh, German so I did it and got honours. Then I did English, I had to do English and I failed English and I had to do that again <laughs> and uh, I had to do another subject. So eventually after three years I ended up at university on the basis of my German and that was what interested me in language. I did linguistics and uh, and uh, mum had always told me about language, she talked to me in language, dad not so much but um, it was, uh, I found it very interesting, ended up getting my PhD in linguistics. Uh, from then on I um, became really interested in languages and, and where they came from and, and uh, writing them and I was concerned that Aboriginal languages weren't being written down, they weren't being recorded properly and I got mum to help me with a lot of stuff in our language, Gubby Gubby language which is on the Sunshine Coast in that area and uh, and so that's how I became interested in language and, and the need for recording our languages. When I look now at uh, those people who would written down word lists and so on were people, uh, English speakers, who weren't educated and didn't even under understand the, um, that English was a nominative accusative language, whereas our language, our ergative language, is a very complex uh, system to learn for people who only know nominative accusative languages and so uh, I believe we should have just words and things given to kids at primary level so they know there's another language around in our areas but uh, my latest work is dealing with uh, ergative languages and uh, attempting to uh, invoke the interests of people overseas so my latest work is written in the International Phonetic Alphabet so that people from overseas will be able to read and learn and I'm hoping that some will take it up. I'm sure there'll be a few, not, I won't say there'll be a whole crowd rushing in but because it's quite difficult but there are people across the world who are really interested in language so I'm hoping one or two of them will, will get in touch with me and I've had a couple of at the university when we launched the latest program I've got a couple of students who are really keen to do more on Gubby Gubby language. So that's where I'm at this moment. The most interesting one uh, was when I went to Germany and I'm a reasonable speaker of German and they knew this and I knew I was a linguist. They didn't care if I was Aboriginal or not and uh, in this local community they were having trouble with the this was in the south of Germany, with northern German being imposed in schools upon the sudden. So they called a meeting and asked me why, what they could do, you know, was it right they should do it? So I was able to have a good discussion, but that was really interesting, going overseas to give advice to people in another country on their language.